Hello everyone, once again, um, I'm here with my good friend Tim Ryan from Niles, Ohio. Hi Kendrick. Hi Tim. Um, this is the room that the President will be in um, prior to um, coming into the State of the Union. Well, as we ended uh, 2007, I think on a very high note with some great accomplishments and we're moving into 2008 now, we've got a long uh, list of, of things that we want to accomplish. Uh, we've had a great year, we didn't get to develop uh, fully all of our policies because of presidential vetoes and uh, quite frankly, not enough Democrats in the United States Senate to get the uh, 60 votes, Rule 22, that we need. All you have to do is look at what we have said prior to getting in the office, prior to taking over the House of Representatives, and what we've done. We said we were going to implement the 9-11 uh, Commission recommendations. We did that. We said we were going to increase the minimum wage. We did that. We said we were going to invest in education. Did it biggest investments in, in us, it's the GI Bill. You know, we said we were going to take care of our veterans, largest uh, increase in funding uh, in the history of the VA for our, for our vets. These are significant promises that the Democrats have made, and we kept them. And all we're asking is for the President to step up to bat and, you know, make these same, our, our alternative energy plan, uh, significant uh, investments into alternative energy to convert this economy over and give people in Ohio losing manufacturing jobs, an opportunity to maybe get a job making a windmill, you know, at some point. These are the kind of investments we're trying to make, really take the country in another direction. Well, you know, just recently we voted to uh, override in the majority in a bipartisan vote uh, the president's uh, veto of the second time of the state children's um, health care program. And I think that, I call that chip, I, I, and it would have taken some of the responsibility off of uh, the financial burden that so many American families are having to carry because their kids are not um, insured. You know, Tim, some of the things that we, you were talking about things that we've already done. Um, to have all of the hearings, we've had more hearings in this Congress and we just completed the first session yeah. um, in recent previous, well, previous Congresses. And we've, we've had more roll call votes than any other Congress in the history of the Republic in the first session, the 110th Congress. We went to work on behalf of the American people. Um, we have you know, meetings in the Armed Services Committee, more than we've had in previous Congresses. Uh, with this war going on, the Congress has a better understanding, the American people have a better understanding. It pushed the administration to go through some reforms. Donald Rumsfeld is no longer with us um, as it relates to the Secretary of Defense. Uh, we've had some other people, uh, the Secretary of the Department of Justice has had to move on because of questionable issues there. So once we start having uh, oversight in these hearings, the American people are heard because we're all elected. Well, uh, how, different districts. how are you going to fix a problem if you don't know what the problem is? And that had been the problem like, for uh, from the beginning, is that you know things aren't going right in Iraq. Well, how do you fix them? Well, you figure out what the problem is. You have hearings, you bring people before you, and you ask the tough questions. There you go. It was, it was a rubber stamp Congress, and you, for the longest time, had the rubber stamp. Um, but in Iraq, for example, we were not able to figure out what the problems were. And we passed the, the toughest ethics bill in the history of the Congress. Um, it's more transparent. Um, the American people um, can find out exactly uh, what a member has requested as it relates to member projects that um, to uh, to assist their districts. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't have a problem with people seeing what projects I'm requesting for my district and on behalf of um, 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 the overall military or what have you. But I think it's also important, uh, Mr. Ryan, for democracy to be what we want it to be. Uh, for us to have an open process, have the oversight that the American people deserve, and it's something that we haven't seen um, in previous Congresses. If you look over the, you know, all of the President's plans over the past seven years, you know, when he campaigned on as far as keeping gas prices down, now we have uh, the average uh, price for a gallon of gas at three dollars and seven cents. Um, so that's the squeeze we're talking about. There's been no long-term planning. The war in Iraq has not helped uh, the, the oil situation, uh, and, and so we're hoping that the President, as he's making this address tonight, um, really recognizes and understands that the American people are being squeezed from every which way. Health care costs going up, energy costs going up, um, you know, these are the tuition costs going up, these are significant issues for the American people. No, this is, this is not time for the traditional political shenanigans. 
Over the last 10 days, Speaker Nancy Pelosi and also uh, Majority Leader over in the Senate, uh, Harry Reid, have been meeting with the President um, on this bipartisan proposal. Um, we have a very good spirit right now going on in the country with leaders that are actually talking to one another. Looking forward to a great year and hope that the President's rhetoric about being bipartisan uh, comes to reality.